the limitations of either the empirical method or language don't um, eliminate or even mitigate the existence of the objective truth, the tree outside your window, our ability to either measure or to articulate that. Which and means humility is important. That's why you want a scientific method where you want to continue to reproduce your results. And then you want others to be able to reproduce them. You want to be able to move forward through consensual process here, all of that, because we understand that all of us are individually finite and flawed. I would never suggest anything to the contrary, even though I'm arguing that what I'm trying to, to understand exists. It is there. The world is there. It's objectively there. And my attempt to understand it, communicate it, while finite and flawed and has to be held with humility, is nonetheless one piece of it. You and I are both blind people looking at different parts of an elephant. I'm looking, I'm feeling the leg and it feels like a tree trunk. You're feeling the, the trunk and it feels like a fire hose. We're both describing the same thing from very different perspectives, but that doesn't mean the elephant doesn't exist.